What's up, fight fans? Welcome to my channel. This is Johnny, and today we're going to talk about the statistics that nobody mentions when referencing a potential matchup between Sebastian Fandora and Terrence Crawford. Guys, we know what just happened this past weekend. Seb Fandora took on Tim Zhu in a blood bath. It was a back and forth affair. But unfortunately for the sport and for the matchup, a brutal cut at the end of round two in which Zhu leaned in and caught a sharp elbow from Fandora that was totally on accident. Zhu was actually leaning in and hit Fandora's elbow, however way you want to cut it. That elbow has been super controversial. The facts are this. The fight goes all 12. And Fandora edges Zhu by one point and is the new champion at 154 pounds. He holds the WBC and WBO super welterweight world titles. Now, there's a lot of controversy going on with the fight. There's a lot of chit-chat coming from a lot of angles on what happens next. You guys know that Errol Spence Jr. was in the ring after and called out Fandora. Terrence Crawford was on Twitter immediately after calling out Errol to tell him to stop skipping the line. Sebastian Fandora's manager, Tim Zhu's manager. It's all been a sort of cluster, you know what, going on. We're not mind readers. We don't know what the future holds. So I wanted to do this video to pair up and see how they match up. A potential clash at 154 between Seb and Crawford. Now, will it happen? I'm not sure. Should it happen? I think so. When will it happen? I can't tell you that either. All we'll be able to tell after this video are the statistics from each. And what we're going to do is go over both fighters' last five fights. We're going to talk about their opponents. We're going to add up their strength of schedule and see who have they been fighting and come up with a statistic. And that'll give us a better understanding of the roadmap, the path that each fighter has taken to get to where they are today. Firstly, let's talk about Fundora and some of the stats that we do know about him. He is currently ranked number two in the world in the super welterweight division. He has a current record of 21 wins with one loss, and he has 13 knockouts, giving him a 62% career knockout to win ratio. He's 26 years old in the Southpaw, six foot five with an 80 inch reach. The American is known by his adoring fans as the towering inferno. And like I said earlier, he is the WBC and WBO world super welterweight champion. If we look at his last five fights, starting with last weekend, going into that fight, Tim Zhu was 24-0. We know Seb won a split decision in the 12th. Brian Mendoza, 21-2. That's Sebastian's only loss. Knockout in the 7th. Carlos Ocampo, 34-1. UD in the 12th. Lubin, 24-1, knockout in the 9th. Garcia, 33-0, UD in the 12th. If we grab our calculators and add all of those records up, Fandora's opponents hold a career record of 136-4 over the last five fights, which gives his opposition a 97% strength of schedule. He is 4-1 over the last five with one victory coming by way of knockout. 97% is a high strength of schedule, guys. And we know this because these are world champions. Nobody is going to be facing tomato cans, as the boxing casual says, at this stage of the game. Everybody from here on out for Fundora, who he's going to face, stand across from the ring, is going to be a huge challenge. As we turn the page and look at Terrence Crawford and talk a little bit about some of the statistics that we already know about Bud, when we're comparing and contrasting, he is currently ranked number one in the world in the welterweight division. Guys, this is a different division. If Bud were to fight Seb, he would be coming up to 154. He has never fought at 154 before. That is important to mention. He has a sparkly 40-0 record with 31 knockouts. That gives him a 78% career knockout to win ratio. He is 36 years old, and the Southpaw stands at 5'8" with a 74 inch reach his proud and adoring fans know that they call him bud and he hails from omaha nebraska he is the wba wbc wbo welterweight king he's been undisputed at 40 he's been undisputed at 47 we know he wants to be undisputed again at 
another weight class. It is all about legacy for Terrence Crawford. Over his last five fights, starting with the Errol Spence Jr. fight, Spence was 28 0, knockout in the ninth. David Evanesian was 29 3, knockout in the sixth. Sean Porter, 31 3, knockout in the tenth. Kel Brook, 39 2, knockout in the fourth. Me Machine, 21 0, knockout in the ninth. Grab your calculators. You'll come up with a statistic. 147 wins with eight losses, giving Bud Crawford a 95% strength of schedule over his last five. He is 5-0 with five knockouts. The thing to talk about and to think about is the fact that every division Bud's fought at, whether it's 35, 40, 47, is that he knocks people out. He has grown perfectly into his body, and it seems, even though he's at 36 years old, where we've seen other fighters decline, especially in the lighter weight classes, he looked as strong as he has ever looked against Errol. When will he fight again? We don't know. Will he look as good? We don't know. If you're a boxing fan, you would like to say yes and yes to both. We want to see him fighting soon, and we want to see the version of Bud that we saw against EJ, against everyone he fights, because when boxing is fought at the highest level, it is the greatest sport in the world. When you break Seb and Bud down, Anyone Fedora is going to fight, the height contrast is going to stand out. It, it was with Zoo. It would be the same with Bud. Bud's a little bit shorter than Tim at 5'8", Seb 6'5". The age gap is another thing you got to talk about. It's boxing. They call it a young man's sport for a reason. Bud is 10 years older than Fedora. And then the only other thing is, has Sebastian ever fought a guy as high caliber as Crawford? No. If you haven't fought Bud Crawford yet, you haven't fought the best in the world. Why? Because Bud Crawford is ranked number one pound for pound in the world for a reason. Will this fight go down? Like I said earlier, guys, I don't know, but I hope so. When does it go down? Rumor is Seb has a medical suspension due to a broken nose. We know Tim Zhu had to get 10 stitches on his head. That takes time to heal. How is this all going to play out? What do you guys want to see? If we wake up tomorrow and see a Fundora versus Bud Crawford fight, who are you going with? Which side are you on, Fundora or Crawford? Let me know in the comment section below.